Another day I'm cackling because right when I climbed up on this dresser on all fours, my neighbor popped out. Then I kind of blacked out and acted like I was trying to fix something because who doesn't get up on a dresser on all fours to fix something? Anywho, look at this set that I got. I swear this is probably my favorite flip. It took me forever and a day to sand off these layers of paint on the drawers and the tops and the legs. I was trying to go between my carbide scraper and my sander. I think I need a new blade on my carbide scraper because, oh my god. Anyways, I stripped the top, um, some of the top drawers and the legs. But I cannot wait for y'all to see this final look because it also sold within like three minutes of me posting it. Okay, so once I finally stripped the legs, some of the drawers and the top, I then went and scuff sanded everything with 230 grit, gave it multiple good cleans with degreasers, vinegar, dish soap, you name it. And then I was not risking getting paint on the tops or the legs, so I taped them off. Today we're using Dixie Bell. For the primer, we use Slick Stick. Yes, I do paint with the drawers out and then I put them in. No, the drawers will not get stuck. And you shouldn't have any overspray on the side of the drawers as long as you push them all the way in. Some people really don't like this method, but it works for me. Back with our Dixie Bell paint. This is the color Sandbar, obsessed with this neutral sandy beige. So here I am painting with the drawers out, and then you see me put them in. Do make sure it's dry though before you put the drawers in. Okay, for the paint wash slash stain, I'm using this Dixie Bell water-based stain in the color Tobacco Road. I mixed it with more water and just some of the paint color that I used on the rest of the dresser. If you're looking for like a super user-friendly stain, I highly su suggest any of these um, water-based stains from Dixie Bell. Any water-based stain is gonna be a lot more user-friendly than an oil-based stain. And then I added this new hardware. I'll seal the whole thing in a flat polycrylic. And here is the final look. I mean, come on. I am obsessed. This is so my style, but let me know what you think.